Hello, welcome to Model Kit Stuff. It's an update time. Um, we're looking at the ICM Admiral Saloon that I am building for the uh, small car group build hosted by BG's Model uh, Workshop and the Scale Model Car Guide channel. So, where are we up to? Um, well, we've focused primarily on finishing cleaning up the smaller parts, which I'll show you in a minute, um, and getting the base colours down. Um, and at this stage, I still couldn't tell you what the plan is in terms of weathering. It's going on a diorama, so I don't want to do too much weathering, but we're certainly probably going to put some dust in the tyres and things like that, but I just don't know. Um, so, uh, in terms of the car, um, it's been primed in black um, and then I've painted it in um, Vallejo 7950, which is their um, standard uh, black and it doesn't half come up nice. It's such a nice uh, deep black. So, um, that's on. Um, and that needs sealing now with um, a gloss coat and we need to start building up the, the uh, gloss layers. Um, underneath we're going to leave it as it is because um, I don't want that getting um, any shinier. Um, and then um, same with the doors, they've just been painted in so uh, they need a gloss coat too and then we can start thinking about um, building up some of the ironmongery that goes on there. Uh, the dashboard needs quite a bit of attention before we can start shoving things into the interior. Um, the, the lights actually have bulbs in, which is um, nice. It means I don't have to make my own, um, so that's really good. Um, and then the, the, the grill's quite a complex piece of work to do, and there's various bits to go, uh, chrome items to go around there. Um, so that's where we are with the body. With the um, interior bits, the only thing I've not really done is the is the roof. That's been primed, um, but I've not given that a rub down as yet, and um, and it's not been painted. Uh, that's going to be a light grey colour. Um, so I haven't even chosen my colour for that as yet, um, and then. We've got the, the seats. Now, originally I was thinking leather. Then I changed my mind and thought, well, my other car that I did last year is leather, so I'll go and do do it perhaps in the in the pale grey. And then when I was looking at some reference pictures of the uh, Admiral Saloon um, Cabriolet, uh, they almost all had this exact leather colour. So I've ended up going back to that. Um, so the, the base colours are down on the cards, you can see we've put a little bit of detail in, so when we were painting the chrome work, I painted these little um, metal um, things that help you separate the, the uh, door bins, um, so um, they've been painted in. So um, need to seal all of that um, in, a, in a satin, um, when you look at the pictures, the reference pictures, it's actually quite shiny so it it's um it's brighter than this you could probably even get away with one coat of gloss and it'd give you the right sort of hue um and then we need to do a wash on it and and bring some of that out a little bit um but yeah i'm quite happy with the the, the color uh, they were hand painted rather than airbrushed and that's um that's worked well for the um it's Humbrol 62 that I've used for the leather. So we just move these out of the way and then we can bring in our other parts. So these are all of our um, small parts. So you can see we've got the wheels there. They've been um, painted forward facing. Um, I haven't done anything with the back face yet, um, but they were primed, um, but they do need to be painted. And I'm, I'm guessing... Um, I'm guessing these were black as well, like the underside of the vehicle. They would have done it all in the same paint for uh, for expediency, I'm sure. Um, we've got our number plates there, our uh, bumpers, um, hubcaps, 
Um, we've got some bits of trim and um, all the door handles inside and out, the, the gear shift. Um, we've got the inside part of our steering wheel there. Um, the outside parts painted separately. A uh, uh, little indicator flappers have been painted up um, and we have um, I have painted up the windscreen wipers as well so we've got the chrome and the, the black rubber done uh, on those. Um, I did miss the, the rear view mirror um, so I've painted it in black but I've not done the silver on the front so I need to, need to do that bit yet. Um, and that is everything done so the next step will be a combination of detail painting um, and then assembly particularly um, interior assembly we've also got to look at the um, glass bits so the original um, glass parts um, we've got two two sprues of glass parts the additional ones we don't need because we've changed to the the soft top um, but in here we've also got some uh, the tail lights and the little indicator clusters um, that need to be painted up now interestingly on on all of the uh, reference pictures I've seen the forward indicators appear to be white um, so um, I don't know whether that was just because the of, of the age of them or, or whether they were always white, I really don't know. But that's what I'm going to do, just in case that's how they were supposed to be. Um, so we've got a little bit of painting, uh, masking and painting to do um, on some of these parts as well, because we've got um, chrome frames and, and bits and pieces that need to be put in. So... Um, yeah, a busy a busy week ahead on this, I think, um, because it's lots of little bitty tasks. Some of them, like the masking, a little bit time consuming. Um, but generally, this kit is throwing itself together. It is going together really well. Once you've cleaned the parts up, and um, they do need a fair amount of clean up in places. There's a lot of heavy seam, bits of flash. Um, but once you've cleaned them up, they go together really quite well. Um, so, yeah, I think the biggest issue was it had a hairline crack on the dashboard, um, but it was um, simple enough to sort. It was just hairline. So um, I am really happy with how this is coming together. So next time, next Tuesday, when I do my um, next update, um, we should be at the point where uh, the interior is assembled and um, maybe the roof is on top um, and this is all being glossed up and we might have um, some finishing touches to do on say the, the tyres like um, uh, put a little bit of weathering on them and some final assembly uh, and there is some some detail painting to do on um, the body of the kit so there's there's some trim to paint up and the hinges um, the, the badge and stuff so um, painting in the headlights so um, I'm going to be concentrating on getting the interior built up so we can seal it all up I think uh, it is the plan um, in the in the week ahead so that we've just got some final bits to do for the final few days of the build because this finishes end of February but I'm really really happy with it so far and um, yeah the ICM kit has built up really lovely so that is where I'm up to um, I, I am filming the construction of this um, and at the back end when it's all done uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll edit it all up and we'll have um, a single uh, build video just focused uh, on the Admiral for a, an hour or so and do it from start to finish, I think is my plan, uh, just to save us um, uh, a little bit of time. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. Let's see what it looks like next week. Thank you for stopping in. Um, if you're in the small scale group build, um, good luck. Carry on with your builds. Um, I'm enjoying watching some of them come together, but I'd like to see more people posting. That'd be brilliant. Um, and I will catch up 
with you next week at the same time, um, 8 a.m. on Tuesday. So take care, enjoy your modeling, and I'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm.